There is no business as usual because there is no usual. If we're going to go down, we're going to go down feeding people. All right, do you need water as well? Right now, it's more important than ever to use social media for your business. It's the lifeline. Everything is changing so quickly. You have to be in constant two-way communication with your audience in real time. And that can only happen through social media. My name is Roy Choi, and I'm the chef and co-owner of the Kogi Truck. Uh, I do what I do because I don't know how to do anything else. You know, you spend your whole life sometimes trying to figure out what you're gonna do. And then if you're lucky enough, you end up in a place where you can't stop yourself from doing what you do. I wake up every day and I'm driven to go feed people. Thank you, God bless. Well, I wasn't an entrepreneur to begin with. For many, many years, I worked a job and I was a chef. I worked all the way up the whole brigade system and I started running hotels. And then in 2008, I had lost everything. Because of the crash of the economy, I had lost my job, I couldn't get another job, and that's how the Kogi truck began. That situation in 08 was devastating. I had no idea what was ahead of me, I was scared, but it opened up a whole new world for me. That worst moment in my life where I lost everything actually took me to the life that I feel like I was destined to live. Now that we're going through a very similar situation for different circumstances, this might be another portal. Right when the pandemic started, we were trying to figure out as a business, especially within Kogi, like what, what are we gonna do? Our restaurants had to close, everything was takeout delivery. Our business had dropped probably at least 70%, if not more. You know, and we were doing a few little things here and there, just trying to give our team hours. And I was sitting in the parking lot after we had dropped a few burritos off at a clinic and it was in the middle of Skid Row and I'm looking around and I just realized Kogi doesn't exist only for profit. That was my eureka moment. And I just wrote a post like, what if we threw profit out the window? This could be the new Kogi. And that's when we built this system. It was based on the simple philosophy of we were all screwed. But if you had $2 and someone had $0, maybe you could donate 50 cents. And if everyone did that, then we could all balance the scales together. We set up a Venmo account, a Square account, donations started flowing in, and it kept us afloat, kept us alive. You know, and the thing is, it kept us thriving. We've been a business that has been almost healthier because of this program than we were before it. Of course, there's no profit. We're not making money off of it, but our team has jobs and hours. We haven't had to lay off anyone. We've been able to operate and continue to feed thousands and thousands of people every day. And then more people are being able to experience our food through donations and drop-offs and free giveaways. So I don't know, man, I like it. With social media, we're finding new ways to feed people. I don't know if this model can last forever. It's very idealistic but it's been lasting the last three, four months. And maybe that's because of the way our whole world is shifting and changing. This has forced us to look at ourselves and what is our purpose here on earth? You know, what is our purpose in this time of crisis? We're in it together. The most important thing that we can do right now during this pandemic is really commit to the, to the belief and the ideal of giving without worrying too much about what that means or what's in return. There is no what it used to be. I don't even think we're gonna go back to what it was. And I don't know if what it was is exactly what we want it to go back to. From a social justice standpoint and an accessibility standpoint and an inequity standpoint, but also from a business standpoint. This is an opportunity right now for us to reinvent a lot of things.